Uh, good, uh, good morning or good afternoon, everybody. Thanks you, Samuel, for the very um, uh, relevant question that you were mentioning at the beginning or during your presentation. So, for example, one of the key questions is, which is the impact of climate change on this specific sector, the entire tourism yeah. sector, and the ski mountain sector, and, and of course, how the different economic activities could, could, could adapt uh, to that. And of course, answering this very important question, we'll need um, for sure to uh, have access to data and to relevant information that may be extracted from the data. So, um, my name is Chiara Cagnazza and I'm the manager of the Sector Information System from Copernicus Climate Change Service. The so Copernicus is the European Union Ter uh, Earth Observation Program that uh, aims to give access uh, to open access data, to information and to services that operate based on these uh, um, observations, satellite observation, in situ observations and modeling. Um, ECNWF, so the European Centre for Medium Range uh, Weather Forecast, has been entrusted by the European Union to implement two of those services, and one of those two services is the Copernicus Climate Change Service, C3S. So somehow the objective of C3S is really giving access to um, climate information uh, to support um, decision making um, on mitigation and adaptation strategies uh, related, of course, to climate change. So, uh, the sectoral information system is this component of the Copernicus Climate Change Service that has the role to transform somehow information that may be extracted from the data into a piece of knowledge in different sectors that uh, permits to be inserted into any decision-making process. So, um, uh, at the center or at the heart of the um, C3S is the Climate Data Store. And um, as you may see uh, from this slide, this is an infogram uh, that uh, uh, summarizes uh, in a nutshell what the climate data store is. So we are talking about uh, um, um, an archive of data where you have access to petabyte of climate information. And somehow, Kira, in think, yes? Sorry, Kira, I think you're not, you're not sharing your full presentation. We are, only have the, the, the title now. Uh, can you see my... My slide moving. We can see the screen, but it's the same since the beginning. Are, are you are you going oh, to different no, slides? No, I was changing my slides too. So. Yes. So yeah. Okay. Better. Maybe I Thank will uh, stop sharing a second and try to share again. No, it's fine now. It's fine now. We can see the the CDS. Ah, okay. Uh, maybe there was yeah. Okay. Thank maybe you. there was just delay. Thanks. Okay. So um, here on the bottom, you can see uh, the website where you may uh, find information about the climate data store. But um, yeah. Okay. But um, in a nutshell, the climate data store is a place not only where you find data, but you also find a set of relevant tools that permit to operate directly on those data and to create distillates of information into a final piece of knowledge. It could be a graph, it could be an index, it could be a number. So somehow um, uh, the idea is really that um, you can, um, let's say, pass from the concept or the paradigm of downloading the data to make your own application to building your application on top of the data. And this is what the Climate Data Store is um, in a nutshell. Um, when um, going uh, onto the Climate Data Store and, and checking uh, what is available into the catalog, you will find, of course, um, a huge amount of data. And the user uh, may uh, not only choose, of course, the data and find information about those data in terms of an abstract or, or an overview of the data set itself. The user may download the data, of course, but it will also be possible to find information about the quality assessment of the data. And I think that this is uh, a, a quite important element uh, of, uh, of the climate data store that makes it very different with respect to other data archives. Because the evaluation and quality control or the quality assessment information uh, includes not only the technical quality, like uh, which, which are the standards, which are the formats, which are the errors, but also the scientific quality and the data usability that are uh, very important. Mm. Uh, I hope you can see my slide changing. Please shut if, if, if this is not uh, the case. Um, together into the climate data store, um, you, you may find. This is not. Uh, we don't see the first one. Yeah, it's the same slide. <laughs> okay. Sorry, because I changed the radio. Not, not at all. Okay, maybe I can try to stop my. Oh, my sharing. No, okay. Can I you see it? There's some. It's coming. Sorry. I will try to share again my screen. Is 
please let me know if you may see it. Can you see my screen now? Yes, see. Yes. You can see it in full screen mode or in presentation mode? Full screen mode. Okay, so that's fine. So this is a slide about the toolbox. I hope um, you can see this. Okay. Uh, so in the climate data store, you find uh, this uh, suite of tools uh, that is uh, software tools, that is the toolbox that permits to operate directly on the data, as I was uh, mentioning before. So in, in this way, somehow the developers um, do not have to worry about the physical location of the data set, the access method, the format, the units, but they can really focus on uh, developing direct their algorithm on top of the data. And um, recently, uh, a lot of improvements have been made into the toolbox and the user experience has, has much improved. Um, I'm changing my slide, I hope you can see it again. So uh, at C3S, we, uh, at the, the SIS, we cover different sectors. Here you see uh, the example of uh, information that we provide in, in, in the different sectors that are here um, mentioned. So somehow our activity is really giving tailored information in terms of tools, indicators, uh, user stories, applications that are relevant to one of those specific sectors. And of course, this information has to be based on climate information that is extracted directly from the data. And as you may imagine, many sectors may also share uh, not only data sets, but also some tools, for example, tools like um, bias adjustment when you're looking at climate projections in the long term, um, or even input data may be the same, but then tailored solutions are found and developed for each of those sectors. And the tourism that is here mentioned is one of those sectors we pay attention to because it is a key vulnerable sector where the information um, on climate at different times can maybe be crucial. So uh, I'm changing slide. I hope you can see it. Uh, so um, within C3S, uh, we have developed one specific activity on the European tourism, and uh, the next presentation is going to give you details about that, so I will not go into the details. But uh, um, within this activity, different uh, data sets, different tools, and even different applications have been or are going to be developed um, specifically for this sector. Uh, if you go into the Climate Data Store today, you can find already available uh, three different uh, data, data sets um, that I'm listing here, uh, derived from uh, this uh, European uh, tourism activity from C3S. And again, I'm, I'm not going to give you the details, as in the next presentation, you will know more about uh, uh, this last data set and the relevant application. And again, together with the data set, what we offer are um, applications, so workflow that permit to, to play with the data. If you look at this uh, specific application, you will be able to explore the data and play with the data. And when we develop, develop an application, uh, we also offer, together with the application, the source code that goes with the application. So any user may take pieces of code, reuse it, and apply again. Um, to their own tailored applications. And finally, I will end with this slide. Um, together with the data indicators, tools, and documentation, we give access to specific use cases. So those are real cases where um, it is uh, uh, showcased or demonstrated that the use of indicators and information within specific business sectors. Uh, sorry uh, if I've been longer than expected and because of my um, problems in sharing the screen and I'm happy to leave uh, the floor to the next uh, presentation. Thank you.